here's the rumor that uh, Ken Rosenthal was reporting that the Mariners have, in fact, offered Cano to both the Mets and the Yankees. Correct. Now, I don't know if either team would want him. Here's my take. See if you agree with me, Nick. Robinson Cano has five more years left in his contract. Next year, he's going to play at the age of 36. So the contract was a ridiculous contract in the first place to give to a 32-year-old player. And he's owed $24 million a year. So there's talk about giving Ellsbury to them. And then that defrays some of the cost. But Ellsbury is only going to make, I think, over the next two years, $48 million. So 48 and then 24 times 5 is 120. So you would take five years and make it uh, essentially an $80 million contract. If I'm the Yankees, here's what I would say. I'll take them if you take the average annual value of what we pay to $8 million a year. You take Ellsbury and take the average annual value down from whatever it is, $15 million to eight. I will give him $40 million over the next five years. And then if I have to release him over the last two years, so right. be it. He's still at 303. And if you get him at $8 million a year for the next four years, then you can play him at second. Glaber Torres at short. You take your chance with Andujar at third, and you don't have to sign Machado. But I still have a, a haunting feeling they want to sign Machado. And the Mets wouldn't do it. The Mets wouldn't do it. Although, if you could, if you could get him... And you bring the average annual, he's still a good but how, player. But how do the Mets entice the Mariners to do that? The Mets have to trade. What's an owner's contract? That, if, get, give him Jay Bruce. So that's, that's $30 million right there. It's not a crazy con. He's got two years left on it, right? Right. So that's $30 million. That takes it from 120 that he's owed to um, what, 90 and then say take more money. Now, how does that, any of this benefit Seattle? Like, even with the Yankees. They just want, they, they, whatever so salary relief Ellsbury. they get, right? Yeah. Whatever salary relief they get, they might get themselves a decent center fielder if Ellsbury is, he's close to home. Might strong. Might. Yeah, in all likelihood doubtful, but it's about getting as much salary as possible. I don't think anybody's taking Robinson Cano at $24 million a year when you consider he's allegedly off PEDs. What kind of player is he going to be? Don't know. And for the Yankees, he could also play first base because he played first base last year because they had D. Gordon at second and when he came off the 88 suspension. One more slip up. He's out. He's out for yeah. a whole year. Right. So that saves you the money right there. Yeah, because then you wouldn't have to pay him. Right. Going to be very. It's going to be interesting. I don't think that the Yankees would be interested, but I will tell you this: Harper and Machado, a little different story, because their 10-year contract you're going to have to give them is ending when Cano's last five years begins. Ten-year contracts are lunacy. Crazy. If you could get Machado at a five-year deal, and Joel Sherman actually uh, proposed this a while ago, give him five years, $200 million. You get his best years, $40 million a year. It's a lot of money, but you know you get his best years. He becomes a free agent again at 31, but you don't have to deal with him. Those are the contracts. You, you don't give ten-year deals out. And I think the Yankees will one day regret having nine more years on Stanton's contract. Probably. They just will. Players get older. They do.